Good evening, friends. I hope you're all doing well. I'm also fine. Today, I'm going to show you how you can uh, deploy your Next.js app into AWS Amplify. So let's get started. So Next.js is a very uh, popular framework nowadays based on the exists, and uh, we use it Next.js for all sort of projects, uh, especially when you have some requirements to show meta tags on a runtime. Next.js is the uh, correct framework for you to choose. So um, uh, I'm not going to go to the details of our basic uh, details of Next.js, but let's say we wanted to create a new project and then create uh, some uh, amplify.yml file and then deploy to amplify and link with our subdomains or domains, right? So let's get started. First, let's create a repository. So in GitHub, I'm going to name it like Next.js uh, sample project and it should be public. Create the repo. Now uh, let's uh, clone it into a folder. <coughs> okay. Uh, So git clone. Okay, that's good. Now uh, let's uh, cd to that folder. Good. Open okay. VS Code. Okay. So it's an empty folder. Now we need to set up next days over there. So how do you set up? It's uh, pretty simple. Installation. If you go to the installation section, then you can just run this command npx create next.js app. Uh, what I'm going to do is like I'm not going to run it inside. Uh, sorry. I'm not going to run it inside here because then it will create another folder inside it. So let's create it outside this uh, main folder and then uh, copy the files. Paste it. Okay, uh, yes. Okay, my name is like um, o DevOps. Would you like to use TypeScript? Um, maybe not. I don't. See any necessity to use TypeScript at this moment? But if you have interest on TypeScript, you can use it. That's good. Yeah. Okay, so uh, the installation is done. If I came here, then there should be a folder for the works engineer, and then I'm just going to I can copy these files. Or I can copy the git over there. Both are fine. Let's uh, copy this file and uh, the reason is because just it creates a subfolder automatically to avoid that subfolder. I just uh, create the project in our site and then copying the files. Okay, um, that's it. If you see here, then you see there are uh, 16 or 18 files that has been changed. That's okay because the node modules folder is also available in the kit if not. So uh, this is fine. Now let's uh, um, run it. Yarn dev, it should uh, start the project with local host. And oh, okay, uh, this is the very basic hello world kind of a screen. That's good. I'm going to now uh, deploy it into the Amplify and then I'm going to add new features over okay. here. So, to deploy Amplify, you need to create a file called amplify.yml. And then here you need to uh, set up a amplify.yml file that this is the kind of a like uh, template file 
for Amplify to uh, take actions for this. Okay. So uh, if you don't know how, how to write an Amplify.yml file, you can just uh, uh, check it. Put my GitHub repository. I have some existing projects. From there, I can just uh, copy the Amplify.yml file and uh, you, can, you, can, you can use it from there. Okay. So what we have, it's like version one, then we have front end, faces, all those things, artifacts, cache, etc. Okay, let's also you can use uh, AI copilot to generate an effect in the file. So generate an uh, MP file of YAML or Next.js. It will also give you the initial content from there. Accept it. So we have version, we have content, phases pre built, and build comments and can install. Okay, good, and then unveil the artifact based directory is Next.js, files, etc. Sounds good. Now, <coughs> uh, this should be fine for uh, for generating the uh, amplified ML file, and it's uh, quite good. You can just use it for basic setups. Now let's commit those files. And commit it here. And say it initial commit, and then I'm going to push. So we have uh, pushed it. Let's see, uh, let's go to our uh, repositories. And yeah, our all files has been pushed here. So now let's go to AWS Amplify and then uh, create a new app. I'm going to link with GitHub. If you are not authorized your GitHub account to access Amplify, then you might get this is cool to provide access. I've already provided so it shows all the repository which is available in my GitHub account. So next is sample project. Good. The main branch. Good. Next. Sounds good. So this will take around uh, three or four minutes time based on your uh, like uh, project but hopefully i think four minutes should be fine so i'm going to pause the video for four minutes and we'll come back again when the deployment is done great so our deployment is done we can see this uh, green tick mark so let's uh, go to the details and here you can see the deployment history and all those things um Loading. So let's a couple of minutes. Yeah, here's the deployment history. And this is the URL. We click here. So this is the auto generated URL. And you can see there is an SSL certificate is there with an amplify app URL. And then this is your project. Looks good, right? Now uh, we're probably not going to deploy our site with this kind of temporary app URL. What we're going to do is that we we're going to use or link our domain to the Amplify project. So to do that, to do this, we can click on uh, hostings and then uh, click on custom domains. Let's add some custom domains here. I already have a domain purchased for uh, this kind of example, so I can use that. I put my domain name here and then uh, let's check to main availability. Um, I'm going to go manual configuration because my domain is not in root 53. If my domain was in root 53, I should have gone there. Now let's click on configure domain and then both are fine. So Amplify Manage Certificates, yes, I'm going to use that domain. Add domain. Okay, so um, what they are going to do is to they will add uh, they will give me some DNS records like C names that I had to add into my uh, register. 
So I use Cloudflare to uh, host my domains. And then here I'm going to add those Selenium records that is being provided by Amplify. So these are the records, right? So here you can see uh, they want ask me to add this, add a Selenium record with this fellow host name is this. I just copy, click the copy button, click on add, and then choose Selenium and paste the value. And then copy uh, this part as well. And then put it here. And then uncheck the proxy. I don't want to have proxy, but I want to have the real value. So let's save. And then we want to add two more records, one for the uh, www. dub. So let's click here, another serial record, dub, dub, dub. And then this is the value. Paste it here, hello proxy. Another one, uh, it's for C name, root, click, save, and load. So those two are fine. Now, um, I've added the domains. Uh, so I've added the C name records for the app. So they are going to verify this. Once those are verified, you'll get your SSL certificate. And also you can uh, point your domain into that uh, particular project. This might take some time. So let's uh, wait for a few more minutes again. Okay, uh, the DNS change has been propagated everywhere. And if I now refresh this screen, I get this uh, welcome screen for next year. So everything has been done. So let's uh, remove this and make a new commit. So if we go to next JS SRC, and then we have uh, this is this is the base dot JS. Uh, Let's see, say uh, H1, welcome to uh, go to box and log, right? So um, let's see if this is okay. I'm doing it. I press check locally. The product Welcome to the um, sounds good. Uh, do we need this CSS? Maybe not. Let's check it. Okay, so now it's not abandoned. That's good. Nice. Okay. Um, I'm not going to teach you CSS. That's not the purpose of this video. So you can learn it uh, by yourself. I'm going to just show you that we made some changes and now push my changes here. So home page updated. And then push the changes. And you can see that it's immediately uh, it will auto trigger. In the Amplify, and you will see a new deployment is going to start. Here it is. You can see a new deployment has started. And then you will uh, immediately see your changes over there. OK, let's wait for one or two more minutes. Okay, our deployment is done. Uh, it seems green. Let's refresh the page. We should be able to see the new changes. Here it is. So that's good. So um, this is the main purpose of this uh, video. I hope you learned how to refer an access project and access projects into uh, Amplify. I will create some more uh, new videos on top of it. So this is kind of like part one, and then we will try to build up some sort of a blog project or some dummy uh, game with uh, Next.js and I'm going to use this uh, uh, domain to do 
get the samples. I hope you like this video. If you do, please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. Thank you everyone. Love this.